I'm here in the water cube on the World Water Day with uh, Julia. Julia, could you put your badge, please? Thank you. Julia, yeah, why don't you just make a quick introduction about who you are and what you do? Sure. Hi, I'm the, I'm the manager of the central unit in the World Bank related to water. So I try to bring in interesting experiences from outside into the World Bank's practice and I try to bring the interesting things we are learning at the World Bank into the rest of the world. So that's, that's one of my important functions. Well, great to have you here. Thank you. Uh, you were just talking to me about a hackathon. Maybe you can just... Uh, something yeah, quite exciting for the World Bank to be involved with. So Sure, it's an experimental thing um, and you, like with many experimental things we never quite know how it's going to turn out. But the idea is that there's a huge community of very smart, very energetic, very devoted people who work on computers who don't put any of their effort into the development world or into the water world partly because they don't really know how to get in there, they don't really know what the problems yeah. are. And the disaster risk community has been able to channel that energy and that and that creativity really successfully um, for some really important and interesting results. Um, I mean, all the things that we see in the disasters where people are able to find through Google Earth and, and SMSs, they're able to find each other and connecting loved ones to each other has all come from mm -hmm. this kind of an initiative. Yeah. And we call them hackathons. So now we're going to apply that hackathon to... Uh, water. Yeah. And the idea is that the water experts um, spend some time virtually defining a set of problems that lend themselves to a, a, a computer solution. And then we buy a lot of Red Bull and we bring a lot of, <laughs> we buy, bring a lot of clever computery people yeah. into a room and they work together uh, for, for one weekend voluntarily to try and solve those problems. And then you take the ones that look like they have the most um, traction and you try and develop them and take them forwards. And um, so the first one of these things is going to be held in October. Okay. And we hope it'll be around the world. So anybody watching this who wants to be involved in the actual computer side of things, they should uh, get on the website, which is, yeah. what, here you go, www.waterhackathon.org. Okay, let um, me maybe you just, yeah, uh, there, yeah, we go. there we go. Great. Yeah, that sounds interesting. That and October. In, and in October. The but but up until then, we'll have lots of exercises to define the problems, yeah. which is also I think quite interesting. So we hope that that will will lead us to some exciting paths that we can't yet envisage. Yeah. A so, journey into the unknown. <laughs> always exciting. We think so. Okay, great. Just some closing uh, statement because we try to keep it short. This interview. Is there anything else? I mean, you are here for World War Day uh, on behalf of World Bank. Are there any other exciting? things happening at the World Bank concerning to water and, and, and what you think should be out there right now? Well, Hillary Clinton and the President uh, Bob Zulick are going to be making an announcement about water today. Oh yeah, later uh, on today, right? Yes, yes, at 2 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. So it doesn't get much more exciting than that, I would yeah, say. Yeah, it does. Um, I would also say that I think the uh, the idea of it, water as a, as, an, as a resource rather than as a sector mm -hmm. and the idea that you can't look at one side of water without looking at all the other sides is coming increasingly to acceptance and people are increasingly realizing they, they can't do without managing their water better um, and that's really becoming a core development issue in so many exciting ways that uh, maybe I'll have to do a separate interview on some of the other things. <laughs> <laughs> maybe later on after Hillary's exactly. done. Exactly, <laughs> after Hillary, after my nerves die down. <laughs> Thank you very much for this Julia. Thank you.